What's goody everybody, Darkul here, back at it again with another video. But in today's video, we got ourselves an extremely rare product. Now, I wasn't sure if I was going to open up this product or not, but I was like, yo, the Ghoul Army deserves some dope content. Like I said, guys, I'm always going to be providing you guys with the most entertaining content that I can offer. And in today's video, it's like a really, really special product that we're going to be opening up because it just looks absolutely insane, guys. And that's going to be none other than an old school a vintage EX deck tin right here, guys. These are like similar to the shield deck tins that Pokemon released for past sets, but I believe they stopped doing it. I know they did it for uh, Flash Fire, I believe, or XY Base. They did it for other XY sets as well, but most people didn't buy them because I believe there were like $12.99 just for two booster packs. And then I believe you got some energies or something along those lines. So I believe they actually discontinued that item because, like I said, they didn't really sell that good. But I thought they were a cool idea and concept. However, back in the day, during the EX series, they released these tins right here. The deck tins from before that are kind of not the same as the newer ones. But, you know, they have their own special vibe. And in this deck tin, you get one holographic promo two booster packs from the ex freaking series guys extremely pumped to open those up and then we got one cool sheet of foil stickers which i'm excited to see what exactly are those stickers now to the side all we have is the type symbols as you can see there's no fairy or dragon back in the day but it did have the rest of the typing and then in the back this is the ex deck tens gift pack and then a small little description of this tin right there. So if you guys want to pause the video and read that, you may. And then we just got some more energies. We got Pokemon. And then we got Pokemon on the top. And once this seal is open, guys, that's it. It's a wrap right there because the deed has been done. Now, I picked up this tin for around $60 which was an absolutely amazing price to get this tin because I always see these tins for a hundred freaking dollars. Now, I don't know if mine was a steal or was like a decent price, but I know there are other versions of this tin. There's like a Team Magma and Team Aqua one. And then there's another one dedicated to EX Sandstorm, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. But let's just get right into this tin, guys. I'm extremely hyped to open this up. Like I said, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know about this tin. But before we take off the wrapping, guys, smash that like button right now. And if you guys do, we're going to get a dope pool from these EX series packs. So smash that like button right now with your wrist. Do it with your wrist. Flick of the wrist on that like button, guys. So smash that like button. And without further ado, let's get into this, man. Like I said, when the seal is off, that's it. It's a wrap for this tin. The value is absolutely zero. Actually, I could sell the booster packs within for like $30 a piece. And I basically got my money back because like I said, I got this for like 60 bucks. And you know how expensive EX series packs are. But let me go ahead and grab my scissors because I could not open this thing even if my life depended on it. Alrighty guys, so I got the scissors, Mr. Scotch the homie, and we got this thing open. So let's just go ahead and see how this looks without the wrapping guys look at that the legendary birds on the front cover that is absolutely beautiful right there we got moltres articuno and zapdos guys check that out this tin is absolutely beautiful honestly like yo it does not get better than this it really doesn't so i do have my sleeves for the holographic promo card we get so let's go ahead and open that up y'all and yo this is crazy right now. This is crazy. And we're going to take out the stickers first. And oh my god. These stickers are dope, guys. Check that out. I thought it was going to be like random Pokemon. I did not know it was going to be dedicated to the trio birds. But check that out. We got Moltres. We got Zapdos. We got Articuno. We got the lame Pokemon logo. No, I'm just kidding. It's dope. It's classic. It's original. And then we got the deck tin as a sticker. That is crazy right there, guys. We're definitely going to be putting that in the background because I just absolutely love the art. 
on the tin and i'm glad i have it as a sticker now let's go ahead and see what kind of booster packs we got or actually let's go ahead and take a look at the holographic promo or let's take a look at the booster packs first so we got ex hidden legends guys that is insane and then we got oh my god guys ex fire red and freaking leaf green check these out guys check that out guaranteed unweighed because they're on a tin or they're from a tin i should say but i'm really excited for this one because you can get a charizard ex but you can also get the legendary birds in this now from this set in specific i really want charizard ex venusaur ex basically the original starters or one of the legendary birds as far as hidden legends go i believe there's a mew ex in this set correct me if i'm wrong but i'm pretty sure there's a mew ex in this set and that is the card i want the most out of this set other than that i'm fine with any other ultra rare from this set honestly i don't care i just want at least one ultra rare from these packs so we do have our holographic promo which is extremely warped guys it is a trico though but like I said, back in the day, they didn't really have like foil packaging and whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve up this promo because it does deserve a sleeve no matter what. But check out the warping on that. That is insane. That is like some extreme warping, guys. But we got our tin. So let's go ahead and put it in the background and put our warped Trico right there. And let's get into these booster packs, guys. We're going to be starting off with EX hidden freaking legends guys i'm extremely hyped to open these up because i just absolutely love the ex series my favorite era of pokemon cards honestly i just love the exs the ultra rares all of that jazz guys so let's go ahead and take out the cards i'm trying to preserve the packs but i kind of did a bad job of doing that because I kind of ripped it towards the back and towards the front, but it's all good, guys. It's all good. So we got our Metagross booster pack right there, and I do believe the pack trick is two to the front, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it's two, two, but we're about to find out and see what exactly it is. So we got a Metatite, guys. Take a second to appreciate these cards because they're absolutely beautiful, guys. So we got a Voltorb, Baltoy. Spiel. We got a magnetic storm right here, guys. We got a gloom with the classic clay art right there. Absolutely such a classic. We got a Glalie reverse right there, guys. So if you didn't know, back in the day, the reverses actually had the energies on the art itself. So it kind of looks like a hollow, but it's actually a reverse because you guys can see the typing all over the card. And the final card in this booster pack is a Chimeco regular freaking rare, no, freaking rare. So the Glalie is definitely better than that Chimeco. We are going to be sleeving this card up. I do believe this is an uncommon though, if I'm not mistaken, which is kind of surprising. Like Glalie always takes those L's and it's never a rare it's always an uncommon so but it's all good guys we're gonna be sleeving it up nonetheless and putting our regular freaking rare chimeco like really chimeco is a regular rare that's what i kind of dislike in older sets like they made baby pokemon as rares but i kind of understand because you know there were the new pokemon it was the new hype you know baby pokemon and all of that good stuff well let's go ahead and open our ex fire red and leaf green guys if we get something out of this pack i'm about to go insane i'm literally about to go insane i wanted to preserve this pack but like i said i'm doing a bad job at preserving these packs so i'm just gonna open them up like normal and just go on with the day guys like i said smash that like button right now before i get into these cards it's two to the front and we about to have some good luck guys hopefully we can get some hype in this pack but let's see let's see we got a classic potion right here guys a classic little potion we got a nidoran regular rare i have no idea why i said regular rare but it's an uncommon it's a freaking common why can't i get my rarities right we got a bell sprout doe duo we got a classic switch right here guys with torchic and geodude right there in the cut we got a lickitung getting smashed by apples that's some amazing artwork though i really like this card so i'm gonna put it to the side we got a nidorina right here a beautiful little nidorina 
we got a execute as our reverse which is unfortunate i'd rather have another reverse than execute but our final card in this video is oh my god why why must this happen to me we got a regular freaking rare Cloyster, you are extremely lucky you're from an older set because if you were from a Sun and Moon set, you would have been ripped right now. But we got a regular freaking rare to end things off. We're going to be sleeving up this Execute though because it is a holographic reverse. And without further ado guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video despite our pulls. I know we didn't get anything crazy. We didn't even get a rare reverse. And for $60, your boy got played. Like, imagine back in the day, these packs, these tins, they used to be affordable and the prices they are today, if not cheaper. They were cheaper back in the day because I believe they were like $3 a pack or something like that. The only reason why packs are like $4 now in stores is because of theft. People always steal the packs, so they got to raise the price and they got to do all this crazy stuff just to prevent that. But hopefully you guys enjoy this product being open. Like I said, it's a really old school product. And I absolutely love it. We got a dope deck tin right there that can fit a lot of stuff inside because it's kind of spacious in there, which I'm really glad to own this tin. I'm definitely going to be making like a custom setup over here. Change the camera angles to something old school, but we'll see what I think about later on in the future. But without further ado, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.